Three's Company, a classic sitcom that debuted in 1977, has remained an enduring favorite for its humor, charm, and memorable characters. Join me by the campfire as we revisit this iconic series and catch up with the original cast, reflecting on their ages during filming and where they are now in 2023. John Ritter as Jack Tripper. John Ritter brought Jack Tripper to life with an infectious energy. In 1976, Ritter was just 28 years old. Tragically, he passed away on September 11, 2003, at the age of 54, in Burbank, California. His legacy in comedy and television continues to be celebrated by fans and peers alike. Die, Janet. <laughs> Good night, Janet. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm on the cane now. What were you doing going down a black diamond no, slope? I wasn't going down a black diamond. Oh, I was okay. Trying I to go down I, like the blue circle that I says was, little puppy. Yeah, you know, was, and you can just <laughs> roll down. Suzanne Summers as Chrissy Snow. Suzanne Summers played the lovable and ditzy Chrissy Snow. She was 31 years old in 1977 when the show premiered. Now at 76, Summers is not just an actress, but also a successful author and entrepreneur, promoting a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Does red wine go with lamb chops or does white wine go with lamb chops or is red wine taste better but white's what you're supposed to have or is it the other way around or both? And then one day I heard a voice, I hear voices, and it said, why are you focused on what you don't have? Why don't you focus on what you do have? Priscilla Barnes as Terry Alden. Priscilla Barnes joined the show as Nurse Terry Alden and was 29 at the time of filming in 1981. Today, she is 70 and is reported to be living a healthy life. Because that's not where I give the shot. Oh, good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just make sure you don't wind up sitting on the bench. <laughs> Would you drop your pants, please? Well, over the, and it was like, and it, I felt like an imposter the first time I did a table read, table read because <laughs> they had earned being there. I didn't earn. Joyce DeWitt portrayed Janet Wood, the sensible and grounded roommate. At 27 years old during the show's start in 1976, DeWitt is now 73. It's not over yet. Right, right, it'll never be over. It's just going to live on in my heart forever. Good night, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> what a night. Um, a marriage, a uh, husband and wife, happy, good, solid marriage, but gosh, maybe he's not. Don Knotts is Ralph Furley. Don Knotts, known for his role as the quirky landlord Ralph Furley, was 55 when he joined the cast in 1979. He passed away on February 24, 2006, at the age of 81 in Los Angeles, California. Uh, you see, I picked Jack. I don't think that I ought to make fun of him. Oh, don't be silly. I kid him all the time. He loves it. Why don't you say so? Yeah, go on, go on, go on. He doesn't. No, uh... In the beginning, the writers you know, wrote the character, and then mm -hmm. we embellished it as we went along and developed it over the weeks. Richard Klein as Larry Dallas. The character of Larry Dallas, Jack's best friend, was played by Richard Klein. He was 33 in 1977, and at 78, he's still active in the entertainment industry. Won't go begging tonight, pal. What are you talking about? I have arranged for you to make dinner for the most beautiful woman you have ever seen. Huh? What do you say to that? No, Larry, I can't. You nominated me as the best supporting actor. <laughs> and I didn't win. The theater called and said Mark Lamos is directing, and Mark and I have a history. We both went to Northwestern together. Jenna Lee Harrison took on the role of Cindy Snow, Chrissy's cousin, in 1980 at the age of 22. She is now 64 and has had a career that includes acting in both television and film. Cindy, tell me about Jack. Oh, Jack? He's a lot of fun. Don't you love the way he fools around? <laughs> um, I personally, I, I don't think, I didn't think about it. I, I never think about work. You just, you have the work and you go and you do the work, you know, and it's, uh, I mean. Norman Fell played the original landlord, Stanley Roper. He was 52 when the series began and sadly passed away on December 14th, 1998 at the age of 74 in Woodland Hills, California. Where would you be taking me tonight? If I wasn't sick. Well, you know that French restaurant you're always talking about? Too bad. It. And uh, many, many actors are capable of this. They just uh, don't get the opportunities too often. You know, if a guy plays a cop, he's a cop. If a guy's a crook, he's a crook. 
Audra Lindley portrayed Helen Roper, Stanley's wife, with a flair that made her a fan favorite. She was 58 in 1976 and passed away on October 16, 1997, at 79 years old in Los Angeles, California. Let's see. Stanley, do me a favor. Don't make excuses till I make demands. <laughs> Michael Phillips, the producer, showed him some tape from from uh, Moviola, and he said uh, it was totally different. Anne Wedgworth appeared as the sultry neighbor Lana Shields in 1979 at 45 years old. She passed away on November 16, 2017, at the age of 83 in North Bergen, New Jersey. For us. Oh. Oh. Well, I see you're already having a nightcap. <laughs> <laughs> or two. Dean Travers, the stuffy authority figure, was played by William Pearson. He was 51 during filming in 1977. Pearson passed away at the age of 78 on August 27, 2004, in Newton, New Jersey, and Wedgworth as Lana Shields. I remember you now. Aren't you the student who's living with two girls? <laughs> yeah, that's me. You look remarkably wet. Anne Shadeen as Linda. Anne Shadeen, who played Linda in 1978, was 29 years old at the time. Presently, she is 74 and has lived a life away from the spotlight with little public information available about her current endeavors. <laughs> what? Will you marry me? Oh, oh, shit! Oh, I spilled the salt. Gino Conforti as Felipe Gomez. Gino Conforti portrayed the character Felipe Gomez in 1981 when he was 49 years old. Now at 91, he is reported to be enjoying a healthy life and has a rich history of acting behind him. Other flower, wow. I achieve an even mixture, which is not too lumpy and at the same time not too moist. Felipe, uh, 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 take it easy, okay? <laughs> he wants eggs, so I'll give him eggs. So, which three's company character was your favorite? How do you feel about the actors' legacies, those who have passed and those who continue to thrive? Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more retrospectives.